All right, boys, got the deck list here for you. It is the Soul Rock Lunatone uh, Pokemon Go mini set deck list. And let me tell you guys, this deck is absolutely cracked. Do not let the Twitter trolls fool you. This deck is legit. But let's get on to it here after the beat drops. There we go. We got ourselves that 4-4 Soul Rock Lunatone line, the stars of the show. Always working in tandem in the VG and now coming to the TCG to cause some damage. We got ourselves that one energy attack cycle draw, which is actually one of the better turn one going second attacks in this game. And you're going to be using it a lot if you follow my flowchart here, which says that you should definitely be going second more often than not. Uh, some exceptions apply, of course. Uh, but we're really here for that Moon Kinesis 30 plus. Does 30 more damage for each Psychic Energy attached to this Pokemon. And you're thinking to yourself, oh, Derek, it only does 120 damage. What's the harm? Well, here's the thing. The entire deck is centralized around dumping as many energies into the discard pile and abusing Soul Rock. So you think, ah, oh, maybe I'll just kill a Soul Rock for my turn. Naha, you can't turbo anything. Ah, on to Ocantre Mon Flair. We play enough searching cards in this deck, so even if you knock out one Soul Rock, you still have to deal with two or three energy accelerations. And this uh, puny 120 can all of a sudden get into the 200s and even 300s if you leave it unchecked. So you have to knock out Lunatone, which means that you're not knocking out Soul Rock. And Soul Rock, with the Sun Energy, once during your turn, you may attach a Psychic Energy from your discard pile to your Lunatone. And that includes your active Lunatones. And unlike uh, Malitina in the past, where it had to be a benched one, you had to have a pivot and all this junk, you don't have to worry about that with this deck. So it's even more consistent, which is awesome. So you just, so your opponent either decides to keep a three energy Lunatone on the field, and you just absolutely destroy them, on the next turn by putting six or seven energies on the Lunatone, or they hit Lunatone, but it's cool because you're self-sufficient, you just hit them again for 120, and eventually they just crumble under that pressure. And you think, okay, Derek, well, let me just play Urshifu or something like that and knock out your bench. Uh, I'll consider once again, sir, we play Manaphy with that Wave Veil. And then you're gonna say, well, I'm gonna play Canceling Cologne. First things first, go ahead, play multiple copies of Canceling Cologne, um, and enjoy going 0-3. But even if you play one Canceling Cologne, or even two for that matter, this deck has enough recovery with things like Rescue Carrier and Ordinary Rod, where you can get that Manaphy back, slap it right back down onto your bench, and it's as if nothing bad happened. Just super duper good. And of course, the Radiant Greninja with the concealed cards, being able to super synergize with Soul Rock, discarding an energy and then attaching it. Moving on to the trainers now, we got ourselves the one Escape Rope, which is just an excellent utility tool for switching and stuff. We got four. Fog Crystals, four Level Balls, and four Quick Balls. As I said, ultra consistent. You got 12 different ways to search out Lunatone. You have eight ways to search out Soul Rock and Manaphy. And lastly, you got the four ways with the Quick Ball to search out Radiant Greninja. So you're going to get what you want more often than not. We also got the aforementioned one Ordinary Rod and two Rescue Carriers to get our stuff back whenever we need to. Ordinary Rod puts it back in the deck as well, so let's say you have the Ordinary Rod, then let's discard it with resources using something like Professor Research, uh, which is why it's slightly better than using three Rescue Carriers, although that's definitely an option if you want. Uh, we got ourselves one Pal Pad to put our supporters back into our deck. Very good stuff, especially because when you're using stuff like Pokestop, a brand new card in the Ghost Set, where you mill the top three cards of your deck, and if you discard any item cards, you put it back in your hand. Well, sometimes you end up milling a supporter, maybe a crucial boss that you need for the end of the game. So being able to put Palpad back, which by the way is grabbable through Pokestop, you know, able to put that back in the deck, it's not as big of a loss. We got ourselves uh, four scoop up nets as well, which lets us reuse our things. A very versatile card in this list. Able to reuse Greninja's ability, reuse Soul Rock, or even get Manaphy out of an active slot. Let's say you got it stuck in a matchup, you don't need it. Manaphy, you know, just get it out of there, or reassign energies off of a Lunatone. Uh, let's say it has one energy. Uh, you can maybe reassign it to your active slot, um, and then all of a sudden you have enough energy to take a knockout. It's a very, very versatile. 
that way. We are playing, like I said, the aforementioned two Pokestop as well as one Training Court. So if we ever need that clutch Radiant Greninja play, you can play Training Court over top of it. Also, there are situations where you have Pokestop out and your opponent's in a brick situation. Playing Training Court over your own Pokestop is actually beneficial. So that's pretty good. Moving on to the supporters now. We got ourselves two bosses orders for the gusting. One Bruno, three Marnies, and three Professor's Research for a total of seven draw supporters. And you're going to probably get getting knocked out every turn. So Bruno is almost always going to net you seven cards. Lastly, we got a damage modifier in Leon, which gives you an extra 30 damage. Uh, so just in case your opponent plays something like, I don't know, some VMAX or V Unions thing, Mute V Union comes to mind. And they also play Tool Jammer, so you're not able to get your choice belt off. Uh, Leon giving you the extra 30 damage is nice indeed. We also play one air balloon uh, because unlikely that your opponent's ever going to actually uh, knock out the thing that has air balloon on it. So let's say it's a soul, you put it on a soul rock and they go and knock out your Pokemon with air balloon or well, first things first, you're going to keep your Lunatone as I said earlier, or if they want to use tool scrap on your air balloon, good for them because that means that we get to keep our two choice belts. They only, you, most decks only play one tool scrapper, so having three tools is usually a really good way of countering that. And having two choice belts able to give us the extra 30 damage on something that can get us a clutch knockout. And to round out the list, we got ourselves 12 Psychic Energy. Let me know what you thought, guys, in the comment section below. Like I said, deck is absolutely cracked. Check out the gameplay. Of course, the, uh, I'm going to be playing this a lot on stream. I might even choose this for Team Challenge. Uh, so if you want to be watching that, link in the description. But anyway, on to the game. Because uh, very popular on Twitter, at the very least, uh, TCG Flare. Have to add him with the, have to add him with the where'd you go, fam. Uh. Had to do him like that. It was dirty. <laughs> uh. It was unfair of me to do, but I don't care. I'm in a really toxic mood today. Uh. All right. So we're going, uh, where we go? We're going, uh, yeah, we're going second in this game, which is super duper good. I do love to see that. This is actually this see this looks like it could be a really good hand, but it's actually not. Um and the reason for that is because we have no energy. Now if we had any energy, all this hand is pretty cracked. Um but as it stands, Pokestop needs to hit an energy, otherwise this hand kind of big buns. As our opponent's playing Mew V Star. Yeah, I've seen this thing float around, like Muse V Star Shadow Rider, where you end up using Shadow Rider as the, uh, uh, like as as an engine, and then Mew V to do the thing to attack. But whatever. I don't know. I don't believe in it personally, but we'll see. We'll see what happens here. Ooh, Training Court does come down for my opponent. Unfortunately, we don't get a chance to use it. Just really unfortunate. Uh, Crobat for four into Fog Crystal. All right, so it looks like our opponent's gonna get set up pretty decently, especially if this Articuno. Um, yep, gets two. Yes. All right. So I'm pretty sure Mew V Star is all Pokemon, right? Not just uh, active, or it might just be. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's all Pokemon. Uh, so I'm gonna have to. Also, with him charging this, them charging this up, I'm gonna have to. Um, I shouldn't say I'm. Gonna, with them charging this up, I might have to uh, put down mana fee. All right, let's see what we get out uh, for Hisuian Heavy Ball. Um, prizing actually doesn't look too bad. Um, let's see if I can't hit this Pokey Stop. Wow, hit fuck all off the Pokey Stop. That does definitely feel bad. Um, I think I'm just gonna pull this active. Um, play that. 
that and a big fat pass serena voice i'll get zero i say this deck is cracked and then all of a sudden i just brick feels bad man need energy i play like what 14 of the 13 of them 40 you know i don't know what to tell you i just don't know what to tell you air balloon of course they have the air balloon all the time feels bad man did they have it or did they uh no they just had it oh cool you have to see it huh all right so they did get the v-star it's okay it's discarding energy yeah so okay cool thank you for marnying me bud my hand's pretty fucking dead, so I will take that. All right. All right. I'm going to turn behind, but that's not the worst thing in the world. You only need to get rid of one energy at a time against this deck. Um... Yep. Understandable. I, I would get rid of a bit off of Articuno personally, but whatever. Let's see. All right. Uh, it's actually. Ooh, let's get carrier first. Go carrier one two. Um, I'm not gonna hand attach here. Wow. I only drew one energy. That's pretty sad. I was hoping to draw two. Well, no, I drew two. No, never mind. I got fucked crystal. We're chill. We're chill. We're big chilling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're chill. We're chill. So, yeah, now I can... Oops, didn't mean to search Lunatone there, but that's okay. We'll play fog crystal. Search, uh, search the energy. Hand attach. Two souls. Give me 130. This is 100. Sorry, gives me 120. And then I need 160. So I actually need uh, all three of these in the discard pile. Then I need uh, the scoop up net or something like that. You know, if I could rip off like a, what would I want to rip? If I could rip off a, uh, yeah, if I could rip a toy spell, that'd be pretty solid. I would be quite happy with that. All right, let's make this thing active. This thing 120. I could actually go boss into this and then take my one prize that way and then they kind of have to, uh, they don't have as much here as an option I have. Um, it also makes my ordinary rod a little bit better. How is this broken? I am bricking right now, but otherwise it's like super duper cracked. Just, just big trust, big trust. Just trust the process, all right? The reason why it's so good is because you can get it more than just 120. You can usually get it like much higher than what I'm getting it. I just had a really bad turn one. Um, oh, you know what I should have done? I should have went uh, quick ball Lunatone and then done that. So I'm wasting, I'm wasting a card there. It's actually really unlucky. Like see, I just I whiffed I whiffed the knockout here, which is unfortunate. Uh, actually, let me go like this. Let me search out another Lunatone. 
And then let me search out... I feel like I have to... Oh, wait, no, I go... No, wait, I can take knockout here. I take knockout. Here comes the music. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't say trust the process is uh, a, a saying that's not normal, honestly. I think we already debated. I think we are, I already decided I'll give it to you. It's, you're all right for that, that you can be normal. So there you go. See, see, like I can get up to five energies on this, 160, two shotting. Even though I bricked really badly, I'm still in a position here where, uh, uh, actually give me a, give me a boss too. I'm still in a super duper poggers position. Um. So I'll take two here. Bruno actually is really nice. Um, so we'll go into this. Um. Boys, you have to leave. All right, sounds good. Sounds good. Have a good. Uh, are you? If you're still at work, right? So have a good rest of the day at work if you still are. Um. Want me to touch grass? All right, but got the grass here for you. I'm gonna be able to touch it. So there you go. Now I'm and uh, touch my grass. Thank you for the reminder, bud. Appreciate you. All right, so it looks like we are gonna max out at 210 damage, or 240 it looks like going into this upcoming turn. Um, unless I hit another scoop up net. All right, they do get the V. Um, yeah, so I'll be five in the discard pile. I wanna make it six probably. Ooh, a Dreadnought, though. In the chat, boys, Angelo gonna be really upset if he's already left. Exclamation mark, Poke Catch. In the chat. But let's get the Soul Rock. Ooh, double scoop up net, though. Um, hello, is that a one, is that a one shot I'm hearing? Um. So I can go hand attach here, use sun energy to start just powering this up. A one, two, three, four, five. All right. Scoop that one up. Play that. Six. Scoop up net here for seven. I just want to make sure it's a uh, 120, 150, 180, 210, 240. I need another modifier, which is really unfortunate. So Leon is not good enough here. Um, but as you can see, like I said, seven energies though, still pretty poggers. Um, what I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna go rescue carrier. And then we're gonna go Bruno, try to get another scoop up net and a belt. Scoop up net belt. There we go. I think, unless I messed up, I did mess up. All right. Um, I mean, still, I'll go, I'll go for this and then I'll, um, Here is stadium. I did mess up. I think I had a way to do it if I had used my quick ball and my energy on an energy there. Um, yeah, so I'm short, unlucky, ten short. There's a bit of a misplay on my part, but that's okay.
Oh, I think I've used up all my things too. Uh, mana fee. Yeah, I'll, I've moved, used up all my recovery. Okay. Cool. Two. Can't keep trying to catch it. Like, can I toss multiple balls? No. You don't get to toss multiple balls. That's not how that works. All right, let's go one, two, three. All right. I should have another one in the deck here. Um, another. I don't think I'm gonna need Leon because if I want to take the knockout on Crobat, I'm not gonna be able to use Leon. Um, so I'm gonna have to go for that. Um, and then I think I want to go. I want to go research to maximize. Yeah, I want to go research here, maximize my plus. Oh yeah, good thing I did because I didn't hit my boss that I know I put back in the deck. Um. All right, let's grab the energy here. Uh, we can go concealed. Wow, no, no boss, no boss. All right, but um, play that. Take our knockout. Focus stop is good. And there's the choice belt out of the prizes. All right. So now we're actually set up to possibly take game. Yep. We're set up to take game here. I just have to hit uh, my last boss's orders. Today's gimmick? Today's gimmick is Lunatone and Soul Rock. So Soul Rock charges this boy up. And this boy hits really hard for more thing for more uh, energy it has on it. That's the entire gimmick. See, my opponent thinks they're smart. Ah, oh, see, Marnie, unlucky. That um, that's actually going to give me my boss. Um. Yeah. See, that's going to give me my boss. Um. And so they're going to probably, if they were smart, they would take out, it, that's the thing, they can't even take out Soul Rock, because if they take out Soul Rock, this Lunatone still gets to keep its energy, and I still have a chance to win. Yo, Purple Tino, what's going on, dude? Welcome to the stream, you want that Turbo Disco? All right, bet, got you. Uh, especially at this part now. that one get this eye damage boys bet all right and now I believe we win the game because we play this uh, we go one two three it's five Or sorry, it's four. Hand attach is five. Scoop up net makes six. And bossing with six onto Crobat is game. There we go. 210. Didn't even need the sixth one. It was five. But just wanted to make sure. There, there we go, boys. Even with a, such a really bad start, didn't matter. We still made it happen. 900 damage. This deck, like, I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you guys. This deck is cracked. All right, boys. That's going to do it for today. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. If you want to see me live, you can catch me over on Twitch. Link in the description down below. But until the next time, I'm Derek for Table 500, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.